It's been a long time since I last made one of these videos and there's been a lot of transfers happening around three weeks. We'll cover it all in this video. Let's get straight into it with the players that have moved up to the Football League. First one is a player that was never really in any danger of playing in non-league this season. It is John Akinde, a fantastic striker, football league quality. He has moved for a fee of between 150 and 250,000 pounds up to League Two, Lincoln City. The second one is another player moving to Lincoln, and it is Grant Smith, goalkeeper from Boreham Wood, very high rated in non-league. Chris Dunn, another goalkeeper moving up to the Football League. He's followed his former manager Dean Keats from Wrexham to Warsaw. Sam Finley has left AFC Fold and signed for Accrington Stanley. Andy Dales, big move for this guy. He has left Mickelover Sports of the seventh tier and signed for League One side Scunthorpe United. Another player that has moved up to the Football League. And Jason Oswell has left Stockport County and signed for Morecambe in League Two. And finally, Josh Heaton. He hasn't moved to the Football League, but he's moved to an equivalent to St Mirren for £75,000. Only six months at Darlington. He's propelled his career, got his name out there, and he's got a big move. Now onto the players from the National League and we start off at AFC Fylde, Ryan Crowsdale, Kidderminster Harriers captain, has signed for the Coasters for a club record fee. Another player signing for them is Luke Burke who spent last season there on loan. Aldershot have made a few signings, Marvin McCoy has signed from Ebbsfleet, Josh Leland has signed from Crawley after making 31 appearances in League 2 last season, Luke Bernardio one of the best players at Bromley last season, they've lost Josh Rees, Lewis Dennis and now Luke Bernardio. could it be looking like trouble for Bromley, that's three of their best players, their three main sources of goals they have all left this summer. Also Aldershot have signed Luke Howell from Dagenham and Callum Reynolds the captain at Aldershot has left and signed for Barnet, the same move that has been made by Shea Alexander. John Rooney has moved back up to the National League following Geisley's relegation. He has signed for Barrow. Connor Smith has joined Boreham Wood from Yeovil. Braintree captain Mark Anthony Okoy has signed for Bromley. And also Bromley have signed Omar Bugiel from Forest Green on a permanent deal after he spent the second half of last season on loan there. Charlie Carter is a player who's bounced straight back up to the National League following relegation. He has left Woking and signed for Chesterfield for an undisclosed fee. Ine Effiong has moved back across the border from Scotland back down to England. He has moved from Ross County to Dover Athletic. We've also signed Kevin Loco from Stevenage and Bedsente Gomez from Barrow. Oscar Goburn, experienced midfielder, has signed for Eastleigh from Yeovil. And Jack King, a very good defender from Stevenage, has signed for Ebbsfleet. Again, he's another player that has played a lot of games in the Football League. Mickey McLeod has signed for Halifax from Accrington, as well as Josh Staunton, the England Sea captain. He has moved there from Woking. One of AFC Files' top performers last season, Jack Muldoon, he has left the club and signed for Harrogate Town. Liam Noble, fantastic signing this in my opinion. He has signed for Hartlepool from Notts County. Paddy McLaughlin signed for Hartlepool as well from Gateshead. And Andrew Davis, 33-year-old, lots and lots of Football League experience. He has joined Hartlepool from Ross County. And the last one, as part of my Hartlepool roundup for the last three weeks, Mark Kitching, a left-back, has signed from Rochdale. Four signings there. Really good signings, in my opinion. I was starting to get a little bit worried for Hartlepool. They were losing a few players. Obviously, their ownership's changed in the last couple of months. I was thinking... What was this season going to hold for them? But those four signings, in my opinion, are really strong ones. Moving on, James Allaby has signed for Leighton Orient after a pretty disastrous season at Tranmere. Alex Finney has signed for Maidstone from QPR. He was their player of the year last season at Maidstone after playing there in two loan spells. Solver City continue to make statements of intent with their signings. The first one, Jake Lawler from Geisley. Second one, James Jones, a very excited 19-year-old prospect from Chester. And Scott Wiseman, an experienced Gibraltarian international. He has signed from Chesterfield. Alex Goodyear has left Brackley and signed for Solihull despite Brackley announcing that he had signed a new contract. Apparently he had only actually verbally agreed to signing a new contract. He hadn't actually signed anything so Solihull are well within their rights to come and take him. Another player that has signed for Solihull is an experienced Football League striker. It is Danny Wright who's been at Cheltenham for a few years. Charlie Clough has returned to Sutton United after playing for them between 2013 and 2015. He has moved there from Barnet. Another player returning to Sutton that has played there before is Dan Wishart. He joins from Forest Green Rovers. So last but certainly not least in the National League, two signings for Wrexham. The first one, Luke Summerfield, experienced midfielder, played the Football League quite a lot. 
he has signed for the club from Grimsby. And the final one, Mike von Noptalum, he has joined from Geisley. Now moving on to the National League North, Alfreton continue to make signings, they have made around 16 signings so far this summer, complete overhaul of their squad since Billy Heath has come in. The first signing of this video is one that Billy Heath has worked with before, Martin Riley, centre back comes in from Halifax, a very good defender in my opinion, another player that has signed is Callum Chettle who comes in from Peterborough, AFC Telford have made three signings, two from Kidderminster Harriers, the first one is Andre Brown, a striker, and the second one, experienced midfielder James McQuilkin. The third signing is a player that used to play for Kidderminster Harriers and has actually played for a lot of clubs. He's a bit of a journeyman, but on his day, he is an absolutely fantastic individual player, and that is Adam Dawson. Brackley have made one signing, Greg Smith has come in from Boston. Talking of Boston, they have signed Johnny Margetts from Scunthorpe. That's the most impressive signing that I've seen them make in the last three weeks. They have made a few more, but as per usual with this video, it is just a roundup of the most notable signings, not every single one. Chester's new management duo, Johnson and Morley, have brought in two players that they have worked with before. The first one is Gary Stopforth, who comes in having most recently played for Cone FC. The second one is a player that was played for Johnston Morley at Ramsbottom. And then at Salford, it's Scott Burton. Chorley have made one of the best signings in the National League North in the last three weeks, in my opinion, and that is Elliot Newby, Player of the Year at Telford last season. He has signed on an undisclosed fee. Hereford, new to the National League North, has signed Harry White from Chester, who had an injury hit spell at the Diva Stadium last season. And also Danny Greenslade has signed from Western Supermare. He's a left back and he joins on an undisclosed fee. Geisley, on their return to the National League North, have signed an experienced National League North defender in Terry Kennedy, who spent the last few years at the likes of Alfreton and most recently Harrogate. And they've also signed Andy Halls, who is a right back coming in from Chester. Kidderminster Harriers have signed Ed Williams, the player of the year, at Gloucester City in the National League South last season. The Neaton have really surprised me with some of their signings this summer. They've made a couple of really good ones. The best ones, in my opinion, Miles Addison, a vastly experienced defender, the former captain at Bournemouth. He comes in from Kilmarnock. And Kemi Augustine comes in from SV Tech, who play in the Netherlands. Albeit they are in the lower leagues in the Netherlands, but... He's most famous for playing 18 times in the 12-13 season in the Premier League for Swansea as they finish 9th. He's also got 15 international appearances for Curacao. It's quite an interesting signing in my opinion. Southport have bought Devon Green in from Tranmere. He comes in on a two-year deal. He's a winger. Spenny Moore, they signed six players in one day. Two most notable ones of those six are Jake Hibbs, who comes in from Halifax, and Rob Atkinson, who comes in from Geisley. International League South and John Mills has joined Bath City from Hereford. He scored 140 goals in three seasons. What a record that is. So Bath have got themselves a real goal scorer there. Robbie Cundy has joined from Gloucester. Billericke have signed Moses Emmanuel, formerly of Sutton. He ended last season on loan at Maidenhead. Alex Wall has signed for Dartford from Bromley. And a notable one, Paul Koncheski, formerly of Billericay, formerly of many big teams. Liverpool, to mention one, played in the Champions League. He's had a fantastic career. He was playing at Billericay until November of last season where he left, but he's now back in the game. He's in the National League South with East Thurrock as a player slash assistant manager. Gloucester City have signed Jack Demon from Hereford. He's played for the club before. Oxford City have signed Kabongo Shimanga from Boston and Ben Jefford from Welling. And finally, the last club that I'm going to talk about in this video is Torquay. Three notable signs that they've made. Asa Hall from Barrow. Very experienced midfielder. Good signing in my opinion for them. Jason Banton from Woking and Sammy and Nabi from Carlisle. So there you have it. That is it for the roundup of transfers between the 16th of June and the 8th of July. Apologies that I haven't made a video in quite a while, I've been really busy and yeah, just haven't been able to get round to making some videos. But hopefully in the next few weeks, we're gonna have plenty of content. If you're excited for the new season and the new content, remember to hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date. Let me know in the comment section down below what signings did I miss and which is the biggest signing in your opinion in this whole video let me know in the comment section down below so anyway i hope to see you in the next video and thanks for watching <laughs>